Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me today. They were a little confused about the weld tool, not particularly the weld tool itself, but front minus back and back minus front. The weld tool is probably one of the easiest tools to use. You just select them both, the weld tool comes up, and you weld them, and it basically it welds them together. This is where it comes a little. I, I actually admit, I don't know all the cases that you would even use this, but back minus front, front minus back. So we're, I, I drew a black square and I've got a black or a gray bar. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'm going to hit Control D and make a duplicate of that. And then I'm going to rotate the duplicate 90 degrees. I'm going to hold down my shift button and I'm going to select both those bars and I'm going to weld them together. So now they're one bar. But now I'm going to encompass them all, and I'm so the as you can see the the gray bar is in front of the black. So we want back minus front, and then I I just drew this just to make it kind of look cool. So that was back minus front, and that might not be the easiest way to explain it, but here's another way. You can definitely see that the blue is really whatever you drag on top, or really it's the order, I guess. And you can change the order easily enough by going to object, order, putting back a page, and then, so now your blue's on top. But this is the way the front minus back works. So we've got the blue on front and the yellow on back. We're gonna encompass them both, and we're gonna go back minus front. And now we've just got this shape back up here. Now this time let's do front minus back. And now we've got this shape. It's basically just cutting away whatever, whatever object you're telling it to cut away. It is a little confusing. I have to admit on, you know, some of these, but if you, if you play around with them enough, uh, see, there's basically the same thing, but it doesn't reduce your object. It still keeps you both objects. It's just called trim. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Play around with it, and thank you for watching.